Amen. So look, I'm finna show y'all the best guard build I believe that's in the game, at least for threes, pro-am, stage, maybe even twos. I mean, not just exactly. Then I'm gonna show you the best badges, why I made this build. A lot of people asking me, so y'all stay tuned. Amen. We finna hit 200 and 38k so make sure y'all subscribe if you new spam up that like button turn on post notifications this is the seven way three point playmaker and i am going to explain why and i will show some gameplay of me killing with this guy a lot of people you see they have to abuse the iso you know they have to make a two-way slasher you know uh uh, um, a uh, BP build, you know, Hall of Fame finishing when you don't even need that, bro. You know, I rock and I, I think it's best to ISO with, with Hall of Fame playmaking and Hall of Fame shooting. I think that's the easiest thing in the world. And I consistently drop 21s over and over again, barely trying. But anywho, I made my God left point guard. Always make your God point guard and i chose and i made this build a while ago i mean i you know i guess there's like three point playmakers out there but look so i chose the yellow and green pie chart you know the shooting and the playmaking i chose the first physical now this is how i made my guy 6 21 26 okay now i suggest if you play tools you make more defensive badges, um, you know, because there's a lot of toxic stuff on the twos. But I play threes, you know, I guard ball sometimes. And I stop centers with Hall of Fame. And I I'll tell you why. And the right badges to have on. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of, I'm kind of toxic, my boy. Um, but look, so I got super high finishing, high close shot cheese, high enough driving layup. It's going to be over the 80s. My driving dunk, I dunk like a god. Okay, people think I have tendencies. I don't have tendencies. I'm dunking crazy. And I think to get this three point playmaker title, you have to make your mid range lower than uh, 75 or something. I got the high cheesy post fade. I got the high three point. My three point gonna be like damn near 95. And then I got, you know, the high ball handling and stuff, you know, and I got my defense and you know, it's, it's real bumpy. It got my, you know, got my rebounding and stuff. Got the 90 speed. Now look, I'm personally going to make him 6'5 because I like bigger players. That that's just how I am, right? Now I'm going to make him 6'5 because I like taller players, right? A lot of people they are obsessed with these 6'1 play shots. They're they're stupid. They're dumb people. They get bullied on the threes. They have people ooping over them, people running duo ball handlers and exploiting them. I don't like that. You feel me? And I can still move extremely fast. You just have to know how to time your stuff, right? I like bigger players, you know, finish better. You have the same speed. You just got to time it. You just don't look as fast because when you're smaller, you have less distance to travel. And, you know, that that's just how it is. So I went with 6'5". Now, the thing is, what I would do for the, the best version of him, you want to make it to where he gets 99 speed. For some reason, when you get 99 speed at 99, your, your player is like super fast, right? Even if he's 97, I think my speed is 97, I believe. Because like once he's upgraded to 99 with Jim Rat and all that, I believe he's... uh. A 97 speed i'm gonna show at the end of the video my build but i wish maybe i would have made him 6-4 or 6-3 maybe i don't know i think it's 6-4 i think it's 6-4 to be able to have a 99 speed and i think i would have been even faster but i move pretty fast right and um i just know how to move out my transitions real good but i made him 6-5 lowest weight lowest wingspan and i chose playmaking takeover okay now sharp takeover is amazing now i chose playmaking takeover because you can't drop people in this game 
without playmaking takeover. And I don't want to drop people. I, I think it's fun and I can abuse <laughs> plenty of ankle breaker exploits and it barely works, but you cannot get ankles any other way. And it's hella annoying, bruh. But sharp takeover is super OP. Um, I already don't miss, but with this, you could fade and do all other types of stuff. Playmaker, people are probably gonna try to help off and all that. You get a dimer boost and you move faster and you could take ankles with snatchbacks and all types of stuff slashing creator slashing takeover now with slashing takeover i think it's ass because you don't get fucking uh it's not ass like if if you actually struggle with getting open and stuff and like you're always bodied up like it's good for that because then you can make contested stuff but like in terms of like always rising and dunking on people you know it's just like worthless bro you feel me um for me personally because all the shots i take are open like no one can check me when i go go to the paint it's it's like wide open like i time it perfectly and i, I don't need slasher takeover Maybe if I play people that can clamp me, slash and takeover would, would be better. So I guess if you're more evasive like me, you know, you might want to go with like the playmaking or shot or uh, sharp. The shot creator is pretty good too. I think it's the fastest takeover to get. Um, I believe you can break angles with it, fade and shoot pretty good on it. Um, but I personally chose playmaking. And there goes the bill, the, the Stephen Curry, Jamal, the D'Angelo Russell bill, man. Now here's my win percentage, so y'all know, you know, that I'm verified. I have a 99 win percent every year. I don't try for it. I play stage. People pull up on me. I stream all my games. Um, you know, I mean, let me show y'all some more. <laughs> I know they say it doesn't mean nothing. I know it doesn't mean nothing, but it means something. You feel me? Uh, so y'all, y'all see what it is, right? And I'm being the comp stage, 42 and six. You know, 40, 59 and four. You know, just winning shit. I never run with the same niggas. Blah blah blah. But look, so here he is. Okay, I have a 90 to five speed. So then maybe. You know, I still wouldn't make him small, bro. I mean, I'm fast enough. You you know, I'm 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 good enough. Now <clears throat> you get you get plus four on everything. You see, this is high. This is like a sharp facilitator. You can run sharp with this bull. You can cheese the post fade. I'm finna show you all the badges after this. And my defense is good enough. Like I really box people, people can't do nothing on me bruh my vertical stupid high that's why you want to choose that first pie chart it helps you out now look for my finishing badges this is what i use i know there's been a lot of miscommunication about fancy footwork it's probably the most overrated badge in 2k20 history you do not need it to do crazy hop steps what it does is it stuns your opponents okay it stuns your opponents me i just do the hop step and i take my layup you know you don't need it to be honest um i don't know if y'all watch my pro-am vids but the lock i use to run with agent and precise has one finishing badge he has a lot of finishing like 89 driving dunk and stuff but he has one finishing badge right and i dominate these builds with Hall of Fame finishing in the paint. You know why that is? Because I know how to time and I know angles and I know animations, right? I don't use fancy footwork, okay? I've tested it, trust me, I'm unstoppable. I will show y'all other gameplays and I will expose fancy footwork for being slithery is that thing that you want, my boy. And consistent finisher is really good. Contact finisher is really good. Um, poorly timed layups it says that but it's just you know early's late whatever one of those but this is my lineup now you would either do this or this you know you could try that if you got six badges and i think this is pretty good now for my shooting badges 
Now, I personally only run on the threes. I only run on the threes, okay? Now, for this particular build, I think this is the best lineup. Now, I'm going to start running this so I can abuse toxic fades, okay? Now, or I could do this, you know? Or I would do this, you know? But this is how I have it. I have the green machine roaring because it's really easy to get greens on this build and then I can get greens for the rest of the game. So I want that stupid boost with the Hall of Fame, gold dead eye, purple quick draw. This is just a beautiful lineup, my boy. <laughs> it's a beautiful lineup. Now, this is what I run. If you're going to use bailout, use it or gold on high or higher. If you have it on silver, you will miss some passes and certain animations and stuff. It's not worth it. You got to do it on gold. I wish I could have ankle breaker too, but I choose space creator and you'll see in some of the game plays that you see me play. I don't know if I'll put it in this vid, but I get hella ankles with it. I got Hall of Fame Dimer. I usually have one of my locks run floor general, so my three is like a 99. And these are just mandatory. You gotta have it like this, bro. Now, if you're not a bailout player, you know, I just like to, you know, have options because people double and triple me a lot. If they don't do that to you, I would do this. And then you'll be able to get even more ankle breakers if you make this particular build. You feel me? Um, now with the defensive badges, this is what I run, bro. Cause you know, people can't shoot on this game. People cannot shoot on this game, bro. Rim protector silver. Trust me. Now, let me tell you another tip. When you're trying to contest people in the paint, use L2. Use L2. When you get close contact or they're running towards you, use L2 and point your left stick towards them. I promise you, you will get way better contests way better i promise you i stopped so many niggas bro I'm a, i am a dog silver intimidator silver clamps this is all beautiful i can camp i can clamp a lot of a lot of people but and when you're running like no pick dodger you're gonna be having to communicate with your teammate and be like switch on everything type stuff or i'll like you know it all depends on how good they are and the sequence but when you run no pick dodger do switch everything or like try to go real under or above but if they're too good you know you're gonna have to do switch everything now that's the build my boy i want my jump shot go watch my last video and um if y'all want any more information from the wise swan about any specific builds the best way to make this or that request it down below because i am the iq genius go god sensei be sure to follow me on twitch follow me on twitter by the way ld has dm'd me and he wants me to make him what i want a dribble a dribbling list for what i want to be in um nba 2k 21 how to fix it how to do this and that what's the problems and you know so Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter and support my tweets when I be tweeting at Baluba and stuff. It seemed like the devs kind of messing with me. So, you know, they might start listening to the Young Swan. You know, they listen to the Young Swan. 2K16 is back, my boy. But don't forget to drink a gallon of water a day. <laughs> you can't go to the gym eight days a week. So, uh, start doing some home workouts. Follow me on Twitch. And um, sub to my second channel. I love all you guys. Enjoy this video of me um, scoring 21, 22. I don't know. I, I am a god. Yo, I feel lag, bro. Shit, me. No defense, bro. Hey, Gorilla, you don't have to switch to ball like that when no one's like there. Better put a hand.
hand up, chat. Granny. Oh! Granny. Buy some fat asses. Yeah. Yeah. Got a college degree. You said I can't, but I won't.